Even by recent dark standards, the waters of the Mediterranean Sea have been the scene of frequent tragedy in 2014, as poor and desperate people put their lives at risk to find sanctuary in Europe. Stop! Don't move, please! Don't move! It's dangerous! For anywhere from $1,500 to $3,500, those fleeing conflict or poverty and looking for a better future can take their chances in a rickety boat or an overcrowded rubber dinghy. Criminal handlers, bad weather and plain bad luck bring some of those trips to a deadly end. Members only social media pages are being used to attract would-be migrants for this most dangerous kind of travel. It's a problem that doesn't look like disappearing soon. Trafficking human beings is a very lucrative business. So illegal immigrants, unfortunately, they pay a lot of money to come to Europe. They lose their lives, some of them in the, in the endeavor, and the traffickers make money. So it's not only a mission of rescuing at sea people who drown, it's also at, uh, as well a police mission to try and to dismantle the trafficking networks. The drowning of almost 300 people off the Italian island of Lampedusa a year ago has been a driving force for change. The European Union set up the task force Mediterranean. It's identified five steps to confront the challenge. Better border surveillance, hitting the human traffickers who are only interested in money, improved legal avenues to settle in the EU, and greater solidarity with partners under high migration pressure closer cooperation with countries that people leave or transit to get to Europe is another key action area. Libya is the prime example, with growing numbers of people gathering along coastal areas in a country whose institutions have collapsed. The EU's external borders agency, Frontex, monitors the flows of would-be migrants. Frontex is made up of national contributions of assets like patrol boats or aircraft. The bulk of search and rescue work, the actual saving of lives, is carried out by member states' coast guards and navies. In the waters off Italy, which more than 100,000 people have tried to cross so far this year, the government launched a special operation to deal with the problem. The emergency measure, dubbed Mare Nostrum, is costing the Italian government 9 million euros a month. Its aim is to find and rescue people in distress and provide humanitarian assistance. As the head of the Italian fleet explains, Mare Nostrum treats symptoms. It's not a cure. This mission is too big for only one nation, for only one member state. And in any case, Mare Nostrum is not the solution to the illegal immigration. This is an emergency reaction to enhance the security at sea and to save people from their destiny. Mare Nostrum is due to be phased out this year, even though the services it provides will still be needed. Meanwhile, Italy's reception capacity for asylum seekers is being stretched to the limit. To combat the problem, the European Commission and Frontex are working to merge two Frontex missions into a new operation codenamed Triton. It will not replace Mare Nostrum, but help to boost surveillance near Italy. Calls have gone out for member states to participate in the new venture, to commit personnel, equipment and resources. On the European side, funding has also been requested. Member states alone, they cannot do it. Frontex alone, they cannot do it. So we need to cooperate, all of us together, to try and, and put a stop to this terrible drama. In the months ahead, the 28 EU partners will have a chance to demonstrate their commitment to this key migration challenge and to beating the criminal networks that profit from poverty and conflict.